Hey everyone! So today I am going to be filming my very late December favorites video. I really wanted to get this video up because I do have some favorites that I think you guys will all enjoy because some of them are really inexpensive and yeah. So the first thing that I'm going to be starting off with is my Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in the shade 040 Medium Deep. And this is what the compact look, looks like. It's actually quite bulky and big, which I don't really like. But the powder itself is amazing. It's very smooth. You do not need a lot of product when you put it on your face. I just use it to set my foundation. And I just use a little fan brush like this to just apply it. So I just like dust a little bit on there and then just quickly set my foundation. Again, you don't have to use a lot of product. Um, the inside, it also comes with like a mirror as well. And it comes with a, what you call it, a makeup sponge that's right in here. But mine fell on the floor, so I just threw it out. Um, and I don't really use the sponges anyways. I prefer to use a brush. Um, and that was $10, I believe, at Walmart. So depending on where you are geographically, it may be a little less or a little more. The next thing is my Maybelline um quad in chai latte and it looks like this it's just a really nice neutral quad to have and this one is really cheap um, the colors are very nicely pigmented i think that this one is probably the best pigmentation amongst all of the um quads that maybelline does have um, so definitely check this one out because I only got mine for four bucks and it's very comparable to a lot of my MAC and NARS eyeshadows and it lasts all day long which is great. And you don't need to use very much product as well. The next thing is my Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I am in the shade True Beige and I love this foundation so much because it lasts long, it blends very easily and you do not have to set it very much and the colors are pretty good sometimes they're a little bit on the pinky side um, but you can definitely tone it down with a bronzer and maybe just use a little bit of a yellow foundation mixed into it if you are yellow um, undertoned or uh, warm undertoned so you can definitely do that and then uh, the next thing is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Sun Power. It's just a really great bronzer. I use it every single day. Sometimes I just wear it on its own or I'll throw a blush on top. But the bronzer itself just gives you a very nice golden glow, especially if you are my complexion or a little bit darker. This bronzer works excellent with darker skin tones. Um, the next thing is my MAC Highlight Powder in honey light and it just looks like this it was a limited edition powder i just really like to use this to set right underneath my under eyes just to brighten up that area because lately my under eyes have been extra extra terrible so i definitely need that extra product to brighten up that area and make me look alive the next thing is wrong thing um where'd it go oh here we go my mac indian wood paint pot which looks like this it's just a gorgeous paint pot, perfect for every single day. I wear it on its own, or sometimes I will pair it with my Maybelline quad. I'll just use this really nice ambery color in the palette right on top of this, and it looks super nice. It just brings out the golden flecks in my eyes, so if you have hazel eyes, I really recommend this product because it'll help to bring out those warm flecks in your eyes. And also, I think it's a universally sort of flattering color, so it'll look great with all skin tones and all eye colors as well. The next thing is my MAC eyeshadow in Saddle and this eyeshadow is perfect to wear on its own like I am today so I'm just wearing that right in the crease area and I blended it up just a little bit. It's just amazing with my skin tone um, and I think if you are sort of like my skin tone or a little bit darker this eyeshadow will look great if you just want that one eyeshadow that you can just throw on during the day and just like go and do your errands or go to work something that you don't have to spend too much time with um, this is definitely the shadow to go or if you are lighter definitely go with um, a shade or two lighter than this one and that's just a great way to use one eyeshadow to complete one sort of look and the next thing is my Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado um, I love this stuff it looks like this and that oh you guys can't see it 
It looks like this in the inside, you probably still can't see it, but it's like a really nice green color. Um, and this is very hydrating. I use it at night only because if I use it during the day, my concealer will sort of settle right in those fine lines um, because it's very hydrating. So definitely, definitely recommend this stuff. It's only $35, but it lasts a long, long time. I've had it for quite a long time. And a uh, little goes a long way with this product. You definitely don't want to overdo it. Otherwise, you're going to be like dripping with the moisturizer. The next thing is my Lancome um, Flash Retouch Pen. And it's pretty much just like a little pen like this. And all I do with this is I put it right into my inner corners to brighten up that area. Make my eyes look a little bit bigger and more alive so I don't look like a zombie off of The Walking Dead. I cannot wait till Walking Dead comes on. Like, I don't know if you guys watch that show, but it is the best show ever. Like, I am obsessed with that show. I watched all um, season one, season two, and part of the season three in a span of like four days. I, I became super obsessed with the show, but it's really great. So if you don't watch it, definitely watch it. Really good show. Um, Next thing is my Lancome, um, what is this called? My Oscillation Mascara. I really like this one. I'm wearing it today. It just gives me super long eyelashes because I think there are some sort of particles inside of this. It is a vibrating mascara. However, I've had this one for so long that I think it, the battery or something just died inside of here. Um, so, but I mean, it, it works fine without the vibration. I don't know if it's necessary. Um, they probably do charge you a little bit more for that little feature in it. But overall, it's a great mascara, lasts all day, doesn't flake all over my um, under eye area, and it gives me the length that I want. Um, the next thing, which is the last thing, it is my Sephora Ole Henriksen African Red Tea Face Mist. I love this stuff. I use it right before I apply my moisturizer in the morning just to sort of tone my face, give me a nice refreshing feeling, and it also smells really good. So. That is just like a bonus feature of this product, but I really like using it. It's um, energizing and clarifying, and it's an anti, anti, not anti, <laughs> anti-oxidizing uh, tonic. So, yeah, that is my December favorites. I'm like super cold in my house. I don't know why I don't turn my heat on, but I'm trying to conserve a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know all of your monthly favorites down below or on Twitter. I will put all the links down below for you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!